Isaac and Rebecca had twin boys. One was named Jacob and the other was named Esau. And even though they were twins, Esau was born first. So he was called the firstborn son. As Jacob and Esau grew up, Esau became an excellent hunter. He loved being outside and hunting wild animals. Jacob was the quiet brother. He liked to stay at home. Isaac, the dad, liked Esau better, but Rebecca, the mom, liked Jacob better. Many years passed and Isaac became an old man. He began to lose his sight, so he called for Esau, his firstborn son. Esau. Yes, father. I'm old and I don't know how much longer I've got to live. Go, go hunt and get me something to eat and make sure you cook it just the way I like it. And then, then I'll give you the blessing that belongs to the firstborn son. Sure thing, Pops. I'll be right back with the biggest and best meal you've ever had. Now the blessing of the firstborn son was a big deal. It meant the oldest son would get all that the father had, much more than the other sons. Everyone knew this, including Isaac's wife, Rebecca. She heard what Isaac said to Esau about the blessing. She ran and told Jacob what to do. Listen, I heard your dad talking to Esau. He's gonna give him the blessing of the firstborn son. That means Esau will get everything your father has. Well, I'm your mother and trust me, that isn't gonna happen if I have anything to say about it. So listen up and do exactly what I say. Go out, bring me two goats. I'll make your dad's favorite meal just the way he likes it. Then you take it to him so he can bless you instead of Esau. <laughs> Sounds great, but there's one tiny problem, Mom. Esau is hairy. I mean, I mean, he's hairy like a grizzly bear. And, and well, I'm not, you know? If, if Dad touches any part of my arm, he'll find out I'm trying to trick him. And then I'll be in real trouble. Don't you worry about that. Let me get in trouble instead. Just do what I tell you. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Jacob went out and did exactly what his mother told him to do. She cooked the meal and covered Jacob's arms with goatskin to make his hands and arms feel hairy like his brother Esau. Jacob even put on some of Esau's clothes. Still, Jacob worried that his father might not be fooled by his disguise. Hey, hey, Dad. Oh, son. Who's there? Jacob or Esau? I, I can't see much of anything anymore. It's <clears throat> um, Esau. I, I did what you told me to do. Uh, here's your meal. Now, eat it up. Eat it up quick so you can bless me. How, how in the world did you find and cook the animals so quickly? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> um, uh, God just put it right in front of me there. Uh, come closer so I can touch your hands and, and make sure you really are Esau. Mm, that, that's funny. Your voice, is, it sounds like Jacob, but your hands, they, they feel like Esau's. Oh, well, <coughs> I've, I've got a little bit of a cold today, so I probably sound a little funny. Are you really Esau? Sure, sure am. Good. Now, now bring me my meal and I'll eat it. And then, then I'll bless you. Isaac believed Jacob's lies. He blessed him. The plan had worked. Jacob had cheated his own brother out of the firstborn son's blessing. When Esau found out, he was heartbroken and angry. He begged his father for the same blessing, but Isaac could not give to Esau what had already been given to Jacob. Because Jacob cheated his brother, Esau was very angry with him. Jacob had to run away and stay with his uncle in a faraway land. Oh.